Today we're going to look at removing the minus sign when it precedes the parentheses. This catches students far too often and it is so simple to understand and it can produce incorrect answers if it's not applied correctly. Consider subscribing below here if you're not part of my daily followers and welcome aboard. Okay, let's look at what we're going to learn today. So yeah, we have a uh, three minus and then in the parentheses, parentheses a minus b. So this little minus sign on the outside here is what we're focusing on because it's standing in front of the parentheses and we need to learn in this lecture today how we handle this. So we're going to have to look at taking this minus sign and incorporating it in there because it's actually multiplied by whatever is the quantity on the inside. So the next step is we're going to write it like that. This remains the same and this sign means that everything inside there has to change to the opposite sign. Okay, so what we did was we made this plus a into a minus a and we made this minus b into a plus b. Okay, now that's the shortcut. You could always go the long way around and you could write it as follows. 3 minus a minus b and the three, mi 3 stays the same. When you multiply a minus and a plus, it becomes a minus. So that's minus A. And then you multiply a minus and a minus, it becomes a plus, which is plus B. Now, do you see that's exactly like we have here? So you can use the shortcut I'm showing you as long as you understand why that goes that way by working it out the long way around like I've just done here in the right-hand corner. So all you do is when you see a minus on the outside, is you change the inside signs inside the brackets or the parentheses to the opposite. Okay, so the rule here is this, that you change the signs inside the parentheses to the opposite signs. That's what I've just told you now. Remember that rule now. Only when you have a minus sign outside. Only when there's a minus outside the parentheses. Only. If there's a plus, you're not changing anything. Okay, next. So yeah, we have a minus sign outside the parentheses, which means we're automatically going to change everything to the opposite sign. Easy. Plus z became minus z, minus x became plus x, plus b became minus b, and minus a became plus a. Okay, next one. We have a minus sign outside, means everything's going to change to the opposite sign. There we go. Plus 5 became minus 5, plus 2 became minus 2, minus 1 became plus 1, plus 10 became minus 10, minus A became plus A, and plus B became minus B. Right, so let's recap. The way it works is that rule there. Only if there is a what on the outside, a minus. If there's a plus, we don't change the signs on the inside. Okay, I'll see you in tomorrow's lecture.